took the lids off and as I will show you here, you can see that the yarn is completely submerged into the water and we have a really nice, relatively uneven um, covering of pink. And on the underside of these skeins of yarn, there's gonna be an even deeper, more rich uh, layer of pink down there as well. Now, I'm really happy we didn't add any more dye than what was already in that stock because the depth of pink that we have here is really great to kind of make up this lighter area of pink that we're seeing in here. And then we can layer on top of that additional layers of color to get this deepening happening here. And then of course, our final layer being the darkest layer here. Now, one thing that I wanna consider here is this blue. I think I want to get that blue in there relatively soon. Um, because I don't want to lose opportunity to add the blue right now. Here's the, uh, the yarn, I guess I may as well show you now. Here's the yarn. You can see there's some nice light space left here for adding additional color. Those little ribbons of white that you see in the yarn, those are gonna be a really great opportunity for adding that blue without worrying about it not being crisp and clear when more layers of color have been added onto this. So I really wanna make sure the blue stays crisp and clear, but still, we need to consider the fact that even though we add the blue now, you know, subsequent layers of color may cover over some of the blue that we've added. So we want to consider that and that's okay. Um, that's okay. It just means that we want to be ready to compensate if that does happen. So I'm considering that. So I think my next step in this color is to take those white ribbons of yarn and add some really nice blue to that to bring out the blue in the color. So here is the photo. And these are the ribbons of blue that you see running through the photo there. They kind of go all the way down. And you know what I love about them too is that they're up here specifically, they're flanked with these really pretty deep patches of what look to be black. That's interesting. That's definitely something we can work with. So yes, I think blue is where I want to go with this next. I'm not gonna lie, adding that blue to what we have here had me freaking out just a little bit. I was seeing bubble gum, you guys, for mere moments, and I'm, I'm still confident that this is gonna work out. Um, it's just, a, a, you know, it, it's a footstep in the right direction, um, but blue and pink, whenever I add those two together, it always gives me the heebie-jeebies. You never can be quite so sure, um, but I think we're okay. I'm confident. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what we have so far. But again, if you're uh, freaking out thinking, oh my God, bubble gum, don't worry. We're gonna get there, you guys. We're going to get there. Now, just as a reminder, what we're trying to achieve right now is a little bit of blue in the colorway. It's gonna look like a lot of blue in the colorway, but just bear with me because again, we have more layers coming. So right now we're just looking for this blue color that we see right here. Let's go ahead and take a look. All right, here we are. So yeah, definitely, you know, a little on the, uh, unicorn side here, but that's okay. That's okay. So I'm loving the blue color that I'm seeing here. I think this is the right uh, color. I think, you know, we got the right color here. So I have the picture. So this is the blue from the picture and this is the blue that we have on the yarn. And like I mentioned earlier, we're gonna be seeing uh, some purple happening in there obviously because we're blending a red based color with a blue based color. And uh, so we're gonna get definitely get a little bit of that in there, which is what we want. Okay, so now what I wanna do, I'm gonna take a look underneath here. Yeah, we got a little bit of pink left in the water. That's not surprising, but however, you know, this is really not much at all. I'm happy about that. So we're not gonna have an exhaustion problem with this base coat, so that's really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it, uh, give it a flip, and then make some decisions about what we're going to do next to achieve some of these other uh, color variations that we have going on here. And we don't wanna forget this rusty, yellowy, orangey color going on down here. So let's go ahead and move on along.
So it's time to deepen that pink color a little bit. So we have a really nice bright, bright pink that's happening in there, almost like a hot pink that's happening in the pan right now. And then of course we have that ribboning of um, blue that's creating a little bit of a purple going on in there, but we need to now consider how we're going to deepen this pink. So you can see it starts deepening going this way, but another thing that it's doing too is it's developing undertones of orange. So there's really pretty orange undertones going on in here. And it's kind of hard to make it out on the screen. But right through here, there's some orange undertones. And then of course we have these orange spots. I'm not exactly sure how I want to go about the orange spots. I'm still thinking about that. But we do have some orange undertones and then we need to deepen the color. There are also some areas of kind of a deeper magenta color or even like a little bit of a lilac running through here all things that I want to consider. So that's our next task is to deepen that pink. That blue is just fine. There's enough of it there that even if some of it gets kind of um, covered over and toned down, you're, we're still going to have patches of that bright blue in just the right quantity as well and just the right ratio. I, I think of pictures like this whenever I dye based on a photo or some kind of a like a color scheme, I think of the ratio of color. And it, it, I don't, I mean, just looking at it, I couldn't tell you, oh, that's like a, a 12 to one ratio. It's not like that. It's just, I think about the ratio of blue to pink or the ratio of black to orange or something. And so right now I know that the ratio is such that there is far less blue than any other color. And I think that as we add these different layers, that blue is going to be covered over, leaving just a little bit left in the very end. That's gonna give us what we're going for here with the blue. But right now, let's go ahead and start deepening and uh, adding dimension to that pink. Okay, so I think I have some of the colors that I wanna use to uh, add some dimension to that pink. And it's not all that I'm gonna use, but it's what I'm gonna use for this particular layer. I have this really great um, kind of apricot color going on here and then I also have a plum color that I think is going to work really nicely. The apricot is going to lend a little bit of that orange tone to the pink and you can see that in this spot specifically up here and then that plum is going to add this depth that we see down here. So let's go ahead and give that a shot. I'm really confident and kind of excited to get it added to the yarn because I think it's going to be really beautiful. going on so far and if I want to make some adjustments on this. So I'm loving this plum layer that we just added in the middle right here. So this is actually all one layer because I haven't flipped it since I started adding that apricot color down here. I'm loving the apricot, uh, how it's toned this to a beautiful orangey pink color down here. You may be able to notice it here as well. Love that. I think that's really effective. And then I love the way the plum is toning down the pink up here as well. You can actually see um, as I lay this down, you can kind of see that that's happening in, in this area right here. So that's kind of what's going on right in here. Really happy about that, but some things that I'm thinking. Because this pink that's going on in this part of the color is so bright, I still think we need a little bit more of a punch of bright pink happening here. And I think what I want to do is add that as an additional um, kind of like, you know, element to this layer about here and here overlapping these two sections here just to bring that pink back up a little bit and then after i've done that i think i want to go over this section again with a little bit more of that apricot to bring that orange out after we add that pink to this so that's what i'm going to do next i'm going to grab another dye that i think is really going to um, kind of bring up this pink make it nice and bright and then also i'm going to add a little bit more of that apricot color apricot color um, down here as well to bring that back out and we're going to see how that looks. I think that is actually going to be the ticket and then we can go ahead and flip and start the next layer. Okay, 
so I am super excited with the way this is coming out. So I'm gonna grab the photo and we can see what we have going on so far. Now, we don't have anything like this yet because we haven't added that uh, those layers at this point, but we're working right here. And then also we brought in some of that blue that we see right here. So if we look at that, we definitely are seeing that deepening of color happening here. There's even a little bit of that purple that you see going on right in here. And then we have that apricot going on down here, which is giving us that little bit of orange uh, undertones to the pink here. It's beautiful. I'm so excited with the way this is coming out. I don't see bubblegum anymore and I'm loving that. So now what I want to do is I want to flip this over and see what we're working with on the other side. That's going to help me decide whether or not I need to do this layer all over again on the other side before proceeding to this deep, deep, deep color over here and then, you know, speckles and all of that. So this is beautiful. I love this. It's really capturing what we're seeing going on over here right on the money. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip this and then we're gonna see what's left. This is kind of where I was expecting to be when we flipped the yarn over. Definitely some light, uh, light pink happening in here. That blue is really coming through strong in this particular pan right here. And this right over here, you can see that the blue is coming through strong and that's good. We want that because we really don't wanna lose that blue. It's in the photo and we want it to be present in the yarn. And you know, let me turn my music down. And when you dry yarn, it'll always lighten things down a little bit. So what you're seeing in the pan is always gonna be a little bit more saturated, a little bit more uh, kind of ugh, intense, I guess you should you could say, um, than it's gonna be once it's dry. So you have to kind of consider that as well. I have a few ideas for what I wanna do now, considering what we have going on here. So let's talk about that. Okay, so I'm gonna grab the photo and take a look at what we have so far. So when I flip it over, what you're seeing resembles a little bit less of what we had here than before, but it's still looking really great. We've got that kind of apricot coming through. You don't see much of the plum right here, that deeper color, and that's okay, because we're gonna continue deepening this pink down as we start getting into these layers down here. But one thing I'd like to use, uh, take this opportunity to do is really bring out this kind of purple going on in the pink right there. It's a little bit of a lilac purple, really beautiful. So I want to tone down this pink and the blue as well in some of these places um, with a little bit of a, a purple that's kind of like a lilac purple, a really nice pastel purple. And, and we're just toning right now. We're not trying to add a big thick layer of lilac. We're just toning down the pink that we have here to bring out that really pretty uh, purple that's going on right in here. Um, so that's what I want to do now is add a little bit of a toning lilac to the dye bath and we'll see, or I should say to the yarn, and then we'll see what happens after that. Okay, love this. I think that we're achieving, you know, what I was hoping we would achieve with this really pretty purple going on here. We've toned it down. We've brought that pink down a little bit here, um, adding depth while also bringing out that purple that we see in the photo. Now what I'd like to do is in certain areas of the color, specifically the top and the bottom of what you see right here, I'd like to bring those sections back up again, um, just like we did on the flip side of this. So we continue to have that beautiful beautiful purple undertone, but we elevate the color up at the top and up at the bottom uh, to, to bring out that really bright pink again um, that we see in the photo. I tend to kind of follow, and it's not all the time, but I like to follow the rule that when you tone something down, there may be a place in the color that you need to bring back up again um, just to create balance and dimension. And so I kind of want to do that down here and over here as well. So we're going to bring that back up, see what we have at that point, and then we're going to move on to the next step, possibly the next layer. Okay, yep, I think that's great. I think we really, we have that, we toned it down. We added that little uh, kind of undertone of purple, just like I was hoping for. And then we brought up certain areas uh, back to this brighter color here. So what I think we have here is really excellent for this section of the yarn. Now what I'm kind of thinking about here is how we can bring these little orange dots out somehow in this layer right here. And I'm thinking a really good way to do that would be to add some speckles of that apricot color. Now, 
these speckles are, you know, you, the kind of speckle that you see in like your quintessential speckled yarn where it's just like teeny tiny little nibs of color on a really, really pale background. That's not what I'm going for here. I mean, that's beautiful, but that's not what I'm going for here. What I'm going for here is visual interest and contrast, bringing out those little bits of color within the color that we already have here. So that's kind of the purpose that these speckles will be, uh, will have in this particular part of the colorway. So that's what I want to try. I'm going to go ahead and add some of that um, apricot color in speckles, not very big, not, you know, intense speckles, but some speckles here to, like I said, add some visual interest. And then I think we'll be ready to flip. I promise. I think we'll be ready to flip at that point. Thank you. 